Hey guys, welcome to day 21. So today we are focusing on chest and back. So let's open up that chest, swing it forward and back. You're going to need a set of medium weights. So I'm gonna be using 10s today. You're gonna to pick up one weight and you're going to be doing a half Turkish get up. I'm gonna move slowly through this. So if you already know the move, you can go a little faster. Otherwise, stick with me and my pace, okay? So go ahead and grab one weight. I'm gonna put it in your right arm and you're gonna take it down to the ground. And the right knee stays up, left leg is straight. Now, your right hand goes up. So same leg is up. You're gonna sit up and make sure the bicep is close to the ear. Hand goes underneath the shoulder. Lift up into a side plank. Now pull it in tight and twist towards the ground. Pull your abs in, now just drop down into a push up. Come back up. Now you're gonna reverse that, push the leg over, bring it in, press it up, and then come back down. That's one. Here we go again, bring it up. Pull it back in, side plank. Pull it in, flip it over. You can adjust the feet or you can drop down to the knees. Push up, pull those abs in, lift the body over, raise it up, and bring it back down. We're gonna do one more. Keeping that core tight, lift and cross it over. One push up, core tight, flip it around, press, and bring it back down. Nice job. All right, put down that weight. Now that arm that you just used, you're gonna cross it over. Hold that hand and drop the head. Now we're stretching that neck and that shoulder out. Cause that's what you just used. So again, with the strength and stretch challenge, we're doing a strength move followed by a nice long 30 second stretch. Oh, that should feel good. Now whatever we do to that side, you gotta do to the other side. So pick up that weight. Now that you know this move, we're gonna move just a little faster. So your left leg up. Left arm up, pull your abs in. Now roll it up, bicep close to your ear, pick it up. Side plank, elbow in, now turn it over. Pull your abs in, push up. Flip that foot back over, pull it in tight. Press it up, drop your hip, and slowly come back down. Here we go again, straight up. Side plank, elbow in, flip it around. Core is tight, one push up, and then Pull that leg over before pulling it up. Press it up, come back down. You got this. Here we go, last one. Side plank, elbow in, turn it over. Remember, you can always drop down to that knee or move the weight out of the way for that push up. Flip that leg over, pull the elbow in, press, drop the hip, roll it down, and press, bring it back up. Good job. Now that arm you just work. Other hand back. Put on those hands. Shoulders dropped. Now point the head towards that right side. But you're actually stretching that whole left side in that neck. <sighs> Should feel good. All right, guys. We are almost there. Our third move is going to be a squat thrust push up into a half stand row. So you're going to need both weights. So make sure that you squat down, back stays flat, push back into a squat thrust. Now one push up, jump back in, and now make sure you lift your hips up so your back is flat, one row. And then drop your hips, plank, push up, jump back in, lift your hips so your back is flat, and then row. There it is. Oh, isn't this fun? If you need to modify, I think you know what to do, just in case. Step it back, you can drop to your knees, and you can do your push-ups on your knees. Then step back up, booty out, make sure that back stays flat, core stays tight, abs to pull in to protect your back. Keep going, down, out, push, up, in, booty up, row it. Do it again, down, out, oh, let's finish it! Stay strong. Good job, you guys. Move the weights out of the way. We're doing hamstring bend. So you're feeling that stretch. You're just going to hang here, but you're going to take your arms back and open up the chest. Now, if this is too much, you might want to stay here with your hands together. Otherwise, palms together. Really just hang. A nice deep stretch in the chest. 
but also your hamstrings. So grab you guys. All right, let's take it down. Last final move. This is a Superman back extension. The kitty came to join us. Here we go, this is it. Nothing fancy. We already did three fancy moves. So I just want you to keep it simple. Woo! I know you're feeling it. If your arms need that break, you can stay here and lift the legs. If that low back is hurting, only lift your arms. Otherwise, you're really reaching as high as you can. Shoulders away from your ears. Lift those legs a little higher. After this, we do a child's pose stretch, which is gonna feel so good. Good work, you guys. You're almost there. 10 seconds left. Can you lift the chest a little more? Squeeze that booty a little higher. And stop here, pull those abs in, core tight, and then bring it back into a child's pose. I like to take my knees a little bit wide, so get a little deeper stretch, reach those fingertips forward, so push those hips back, and just drop your head. Woo! You can even come up on those fingertips to get a deeper stretch down. Hold that stretch. Woo, feels good. <laughs> and the kitty is making noise. All right, that is it. Thanks you guys for joining me. We only have two days left. Great work today, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.